content. Yeah. Right? You are a big proponent on content. That's all I... Bro, I won't do shit without a camera turned on. Dude. I Am I a proponent of camera? Tevin, I will not do work without a camera turned on, bro. That's how important content is. So with that being how said, it's like it's like somebody having a, a McDonald's sign on their on their building, right? It's McDonald's, but like inside of McDonald's, the light to the to the sign is off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like turn the light on. Let the people know what you sell. Yeah. Are you trying to sell hamburgers? Then <laughs> tell people you're selling hamburgers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> I love it, bro. People are so <laughs> sorry. Cut all this. Cut, bleep, bleep my f bombs. I don't want people to ever hear me say the f bomb. But that's the problem. Is people? It's like you have something to sell all the time. Absolutely. Okay, you're selling yourself for private money. You're selling selling yourself for deals. When I go and talk to a homeowner, I'm selling the homeowner on trusting me to buy their house <coughs> or on creative finance. I'm trying to sell an agent on working with me. I'm selling, 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 selling all the time. It's all branding. It's branding. Then on top of that, on top of that, now if I'm capturing all of the things that I'm doing, I can then inspire all these other people that are trying to do the same thing as me. And those people then want to bring deals to me. Private. Where do most of my private money lenders come from? My content. Yeah. So well, people go, how do I raise capital? How do I raise capital? I'm like, you ain't going to do it out of reading a book. No. <laughs> Sorry. You can see he's passionate about this. I'm stuff, so passionate about he's this. so right about this. How do I sell a hamburger? Put a <laughs> sign on your building <laughs> that you sell hamburgers. That's how. <laughs> so pe it's like when people tell me they don't want to do content. I don't want to do content. I'm like, you don't want to sell hamburgers? Dude, I had to punch anxiety in his <laughs> face. Yes. Because I knew how powerful content was. It's the most powerful thing. How dare, how dare you not brand and tell people what you do for a living? Would you, here's the thing. You got kids, right? Yeah. You got three girls. Okay. Three girls in 20 years from now, the difference between your girls being so incredibly well off and them being just okay mm -hmm. is the difference between how well you market yourself. Mm. Oof. Why is that? Because everything you create and a magnet, right? And here's, here's the most gangster that you don't even, people don't even realize. Every time I make a video, what am I really creating? What are you creating? Oh, this is good. Tevin, make sure you remember this. Okay. People always say, man, if I could just, if I had two of me, if I had two of me, I could take over the world. Oh, wow. I got 1200 of me on YouTube, dude. 1200 videos of me on YouTube clones. That's what you're making. You're right. making a clone. Never thought of it like that. You're making a clone, man. You duplicated yourself. Yes. To the 10th and hour. now when somebody DMs me and they go, Pace, I got a question. I go to my team and I go, have we not, how dare we have not answered this question before? And so I then make a YouTube video about that question. And now instead of me just giving them a stupid, simple answer, I give them a full seven minute video. That video cost me money to produce, mm -hmm. time to make, time to edit and all that stuff. I paid people to do that stuff and ingenuity and creativity to put it up there. But guess what? I never have to answer that question ever again in my life. I have now duplicated myself. So when people say, Pace, how have you done so much? I go, I didn't. My clones did. You think it's me. That's not me. That's a clone of me mm. doing all the work. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Content, right? Somebody should call it cloning. Yo, do you, are you a clone creator? That's what we should call it. It's it's not even content creator. It's a are you a clone? Do you have a clone machine? That's these <laughs> cameras. Those are clone machines, dude. That's a cloner right there these are clone you guys ever seen multiplicity with with michael keaton no I come on he <laughs> guys look this up michael keaton's multiplicity is one of the best movies of all time he's like it's a he's a contractor mm -hmm. this, you know remember michael keaton from yeah, batman origins right yeah. so uh michael keaton's like man he's a, he's a contractor he's like i just can't seem to get enough done i gotta be a dad of this or that or blah, blah 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 i gotta do all these things so somebody <laughs> somebody comes to him and goes they hear him at like he's ordering coffee and he's on the phone with his wife. He's like, gosh, 
I just wish I had two of me. And some guy, some mad scientist goes, yo, dude, I got a cloning machine. Mm. And so Michael Keaton goes and clones himself. And he, it's a whole movie about how he made five different Michael Keatons. And he then takes over the entire world with five of himself. <laughs> Bro, I got 1,200 just on YouTube. Think about what I got on Instagram and TikTok and LinkedIn and the blogs that I have and, and all the other things, the podcasts I have on other people's things. Yeah. Okay. So when people go, I don't want to create content. Okay. Well, would you want to create a clone of yourself that costs no money? Hmm. What is the reason you got into content? It was because you just knew that what the power of branding. No, was I had no it? idea. I had no idea. So what got you started? Here, here's the honest answer. Microsoft kiss my <laughs> I hate Microsoft so much. This is what, this is what cost me the pro This is what caused me to get into content. I had a micro, a PC mm -hmm. back in like 2000, probably five, 2006. And they came out with uh, Microsoft Vista. Oh, wow. I remember that. You remember this? It was horrible. It was horrible. I lost all my photos. Mm. everything i lost all my photos this is before facebook instagram everything is before you, like youtube was popping off bro i was married i was i had my ha first house i flipped my first house my brother who my brother killed himself hung himself okay oh, we don't need to get into that today i all my photos of my brother all my photos of my brother except for the ones that were printed out already at that point are lost gone done forever oh, wow. okay so instagram comes out and they're like, oh, it's like this cool little thing. You can kind of like journal what's going on in your life. I was like, that's what I need. I need something that goes into the cloud and I never have to worry about whatever. So I started posting on Instagram 13 years ago with the entire purpose of just documenting my life so I never lose my photos ever again. Mm. That's what got you into That's content. what got me into it. I remember looking at my first Instagram post. I don't delete any of my Instagram posts. You go back 12, 13 years ago on my Instagram pipe uh, thing, and you'll see my first photo is my wife in a bikini, my dog Cheese, who died two weeks ago. That's how long ago this it was. My baby puppy is now dead. And then my son, who was two years old, we're all hanging out by the pool. And I remember putting that photo on Instagram and going, all right, here we go. I'm going to document this journey. Okay. And then the thing, the thing that... Um, by the way, Tevin, does he ever talk to you when you're on podcast? He tell this <laughs> talk to you when he's on podcast. <laughs> it's what your camera guy needs to be a, a character in your in your yeah. Just oh yeah, game. I thought about getting a co-host, but I was like, no, no, no. Yeah. that's your co-host right there, the, Tevin right here. He's your guy. Here we go. Everybody in your audience needs to know who Te Tevin Bailey is. Okay, Tevin Bailey, right? All right, I'm Tevin Bailey too. <laughs> okay, so. I remember posting this, all right? I remember posting this and feeling, I, I can look back at that photo, I can remember exactly how I felt when I posted it. I, here's how I felt. I felt helpless, lack of skills, full of work ethic. Hmm. And I then look at the next photo and the next photo, I can remember where I was, what I was doing, where I was standing. I, that, the, my greatest gift is my the memory of an elephant. I remember everything. Yeah, man. Okay? so. I could, I go through that anyway. So here's what ends up happening. I'm a contractor, right? So I'm posting before and after like, oh, this person has, this lady has a real <laughs> backsplash, but watch me turn this thing into cool shit. And then all of a sudden I started hashtagging and typing in like AZ contractor, blah, blah, blah. Started getting customers from it. It's like, oh, shit, the McDonald's sign has been turned on. People are coming in and buying McDonald's now. What? All right. So I doubled down on my content. I'm like, this is cool. So now I, I recognize at this point, eight, nine, 10 years ago, I recognized that my customers were finding me because of the people were sharing my shit. And like, oh, look at this guy. And I became infamous in Arizona. I got open door to call me and give me all their houses in Arizona. I got OfferPad, Zillow. I was their contractor because of social media. Wow. Right. It wasn't a relationship. And then I realized that social media was the hack to get around who, where I was born, who, who I, who I was born with, right? That whole thing of like, well, it's not what you know, it's who you know. It's like, yeah, or that's all right. Or you have a third option, which is it's how much you post on Instagram. Hmm. It's not what you know, it's who you know, or it's how much you post on Instagram. That's what I learned. And I could bypass all that. All of a sudden I'm landing customers. I'm making a, my first year of making a million dollars take home was 2014. 
So what is that? Eight years ago, nine years ago, first time making a million in a year. Mm -hmm. And I gave it, I give it all the Instagram. Wow. Amplification of opportunities. That's what it is. It's the amplification of opportunities because it's the amplification of eyeballs and amplification of cloning yourself all over the globe.